Hello, welcome to your exercise program. Uh, I'm wearing my cowboy hat and a pair of cowboy boots because my husband made it a point to say, like, why do you need another pair of cowboy boots when I bought them a few months ago? He wanted to point out that I'm not wearing them. So I'm proving him wrong. I'm gonna wear them to work out. Whatever it takes, right? Come with me. Uh, you do not need your cowboy boots though. Just grab a chair. We are going on 26 years of marriage. So I'm not gonna let him be right about this one. Let's sit up nice and tall. Hips and knees aligned with each other or hips just a little bit higher. Feet planted firmly on the ground. Belly button into spine, sitting up as tall as you can. Feel like you're somebody stretching you. From your waist way up tall, uh, whatever should not be touching the chair, I'll call it your elevator, lift it up. Shoulders up and away from your ears and then down your back. So it's kind of an inconveniently thing. We're trying to get long in the torso, but then not shorten down when we pull our shoulders away from ears. Double, triple chin. I'm gonna get rid of the hat soon because it seems kind of strange. Uh, I feel like I have no shadow for you. So I'm gonna put my hat here. Don't let my husband know that I didn't exercise with it, please. Sitting up tall. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. And exhale, lower them down. Inhale. And exhale. Another time, inhale. Arms up, one arm forward, one arm back and coming forward again. You're just gonna take your time. Oops, we're going up and around and back. Why I'm purposely going backwards is to kind of open up our chest from a long day. Uh, the goal though is to stay tall and not let your chin move forward at all. Shoulders away from our ears and down your back though. So it's just your arm bone is moving. Ready to move on? Let's move on in four, three, two, one. So let's pretend that we have a lasso. We're going to grab and come down one side and up and over. Down one side, up and over. Let's talk about our knees at the same time. Squish your ankle bones together, knees together, belly button into spine. You should actually feel your stomach muscles kicking in. Watch your chin as you bring your arms forward. It's okay to double, triple. I'm gonna add a little bit extra of a motion, forward motion, and then backwards motion. Forwards motion, backwards motion. We're going to go the other side shortly. And let's change sides in four, three, two, one. And finish up your thing. Now we're going from the other side. Uh oh. Forward, around, in there. Forward, like you're casting a fishing line. It's hard to change it, isn't it? Feel yourself comfortable. Keep your neck chucked in. This is not the way to lasso a bull, is it? But it's a good stomach workout. I'm thinking of the whip cracking on the ground. When we were kids, we used to go to the rodeo all the time with our dad, my brother and I. And they used to throw to my brother and I too, uh, chewing tobacco cans. We always gave them to my dad. He never chewed them. I don't know what he did with them. Let's change in four, three, two, 
one, finish up. Now sit up again, nice and tall, regather, shoulders down. Let's grab the hay. So I'm gonna go this way a little bit because I don't want you down my top. So reach down, we're keeping this straight, hinging. Actually, we're gonna spread our legs out though, wide. Keep this part like folded backwards. Oh, that sounded horrible, don't fold it backwards. Pull open your legs as much as you can so that we add a little bit of a stretch when we lean down and then back up. Grab and back up. So as we reach forward though, really take the time to fasten your shoulder blades. Watch your chin. Belly button into the spine. Hearts are lifted off the ground. Woo! I like this song. Now that it got started, it had a weird start to it. First part, didn't it? Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Nice. I'm afraid I'm gonna step on my hat. So let's sit up nice and tall, shoulders up and down. Let's get our hands out though, so we're stretching the backs of our hands up to our forearm. Come up and then all the way drop. Let's try now one shoulder circle forward and back and then the other shoulder circle forward and back. Again, this could be a huge stomach muscle workout. If you remember to kick them in, tighten them up. Let's speed it up a little. Let's kind of lead down with our elbow. Watch your chin. Double, triple chin. This is a killer shoulder muscle workout, isn't it? That's what makes that cap, is if we work these muscles. Okay. I'm almost through with this. What about you? This isn't cowboy. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Sitting up close to the front. I'm gonna diagonal so you can see me. Plant your feet, hips width distance apart. Belly into spine. Put some pressure into all your toe joints. I want you to stand up just a little bit and come back down. So what, that's the hardest part of the strength movement. Watch your chin. We're gonna change this to like we're riding on a horse in a minute. Watch your balance, make sure you're coming straight back, no plopping into your chair. If you need your hands, use your hands to guide you, right? We want you nice and safe. Your heart rate's probably going up too, trying to monitor that. Okay, let's change in four, three, two, one. My friend Holly's daughter and Holly are horse riders, and I gotta watch a little video. And they're up like this riding. That's what I want us to do. I want us to see if we could come up and just hold it, hold it, hold it, and back down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and back down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, back down. I'm not gonna tell you their job's easier, but they do have a horse to sit on. You can make this one a little bit more challenging. One leg forward, one leg back. And then you're gonna fill it on the leg closest to you. And I think I'm gonna stop, stay there for a second. So chin tucked in, shoulders down. Remember, make sure you make it to the, the thing. No plopping on the chair. Let's change legs in three. If you've done what I've done, two. One, swap the other leg for, oh, this is that unwinding of the music. So Holly is a fun friend. <laughs> we talk about all of our junk TV shows, one in particular. 
I don't want to tell you which one it is because I don't want you to, to call, call it quits on me again. I forgot we're standing and we're holding it just that little bit and then back down. Shoulders away from ears, all I was thinking is double, triple chins. Ooh, this is a hard workout day, isn't it? My friend Anna, who I call my twin, we call each other twins, she asked for leg workout too. She is a bicyclist. Last time, and down. Oh. Oh. So keeping our legs still, what should we do differently? I'd say we get some rib cage motion. Again, it could be a stomach workout if you think about it. sitting up nice and tall, not like your recliner, not too far in the front of your you. Halfway. And I'm gonna put my hands purposely on my thighs, helping open them up a little bit. So side to side, shoulders away from ears, belly into spine. I just need to rest our legs, my legs. <laughs> I don't know about your legs. Oh, that feels really good on my mid back. Do you feel it? Is it helping? Okay, we're gonna change to forward and backwards in four, three, two, one. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. The back, I'm trying not to just roll my pelvic girdle back. I'm trying to think about, like in a bar, if somebody has me up against a wall, and they're gonna stab me. I wanna get that little extra bit. I'm not gonna tell you where I grew up or how I knew that. Feel that? Out, in, out, in. Let's keep going. Let's change in three, two, one. Forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. You can stay four distinct areas or you can roll it. Again, this is a good stomach workout if you're queuing in your stomach. It's a great posture workout. It's an incredible sitting balance workout. It also helps open up the spine and the lungs. It's super important right now, right? Good. We're gonna change in four, three, two, one. Let's go forward, other side, back, other side. Forward, other side. So we've swapped the circle. I wanna get this going with us and then we can roll it out if you would like. I like the very distinct because then you can see and feel all the different stretches. But let's roll it out if you want. This is one of those times I wish I was paying more attention to how many I did on one side. For those of us that don't live in Southern California, today was a 97 degree day. Sorry if you're in the rain. I haven't want to listen to news much lately. We all kind of know what's going on. Let's change in four, three, two, one. So I'm thinking let's go from thumb down, one arm, open your thumb, lead with your thumb and out. But let's add a little bit of a lean into it. De-weighting one side of your hip. Let there have a gap and then back up. If you want to challenge your balance, go further on to just that one hip. I don't know if I trust my chair enough. Plus I have a very hard granite counter. I'm not going to slip. So I'm actually holding on. Is this Sweet Home Alabama? 
Good thing I didn't start the song. We're gonna change in four, three, two, one. Show me your other hand. Bring it thumb down to the other side, open up and out. Are you lifting your elevator parts up? Is your stomach tight? Do you have those double chins going? Since we started the rotator cuff muscle um, exercises, kind of like what we're doing now, I feel like my shoulders are getting stronger. What do you think about yours? I've had messed up shoulder for, oh, I think since I was like six or eight years old. And so I kind of learned a little bit of how to hamper, or baby them, not hamper. Hamper the movement so I don't hurt them. Okay, I'm forgetting that we're gonna de-weight a little bit now on that side and up and over. I was thinking, why am I holding on? But I wanna give that extra challenge to my balance. But I am holding on because now on this side I have a big old mirror that I know would be expensive to replace. Let's change in three, two, one, have your legs recovered. Let's march. Sitting up nice and tall, really elongate the trunk. And I'm gonna get my arms going now. My poor family below me, that'll teach them for talking about my boots. You could pick up the pace if you want a little. We're gonna change our leg movement. So in four, three, two, one. Heel, bring up one heel, and then toe in. Heel, toe. So it's a leg workout. Again, if we sit up nice and tall, it's a posture workout. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Adding on the heavy shoes, it's a resistance workout. I'm not giving in though, I'm taking these off. No way, 97 degrees or not. Sit up nice and tall, taller than I'm doing, I'm sliding in my chair. Let's change to the other leg in four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Heel, toe, sit up nice and tall first. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Woo! I just finally saw the time. 18 minutes, you guys. How are you doing? I'm getting so excited I'm picking up the pace of the heel toe, aren't I? I'm sorry. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Whoa, that was a killer workout for that. Let's some, jump some ropes. Make some big motions. Can you get fancy with it? I'm gonna get fancy because I'm gonna go the backwards. Like I said, I spend too much time round shoulder. I wanna remember to go backwards. So I'm gonna get just my wrists moving, little circles, I've been typing today. I am not a computer happy person. So getting a little circles in and then getting my shoulders in. You make this what's right for you. Now I'm stopping again for my shoulders to get my wrists circling, and now I'm bringing it up. Let's grab our rope, and we're gonna lasso. So sway your trunk back and forth too. Shoulders are again back and down, chin is in, Belly into spine, parts are lifted. And I want to throw it at a diagonal forward and then back. So I'm kind of leaning and back. We're going to go in this direction and then we'll throw it in the other way. And then we'll go to the other arm and then we're going to stretch it out. I feel like the shorter workout, like what we do, 30 minutes, that's plenty. If you want to do more, you just grab another workout. 
or you walk up and down your steps, if steps is something that you like to do and you can do safely, or you just get in and out of a chair quite a few times and then it's good. Good, let's swap and go the other direction. The other direction, I'm gonna lean back and forth. Back and forth, so I get some tight stomach muscles and down. And then we're gonna swap arms. So we're really working on the, the static control, the long standing movement of those shoulders, aren't we? Let's change arms in three, two, one. Okay, what were we doing? Let's lean forward and back. This arm's going front toward my knees first and then around. Did you hear that? The lips taste like watermelon. That's funny. Because I, or since I started doing these videos, do you know that I talk at the movies now? My husband and I are watching a movie downstairs. I feel like I talk to the actors and stuff. I can't wait till we can talk to each other in person. And then I can be quiet during movies again. I hate people who talk during movies, but I can't help it. How's your chin? Tucked in? Let's change in three, two, one. Go the other way. I'm going to go around and lean back. Soon my hat's coming back on. I'll just tip it so you don't have see so much shadow. Remember, stomach tight as you lean back. Stomach tight. Let's change in three, two, one. Oh, come off the side of your chair, drop one leg. I'm gonna come in front so you can see. Let's pull our hip forward, or both our hip bones, but our hips far forward enough. Trying to get our knee aligned with our hip, our hips are shoulder. Don't judge me, I know, I'm tight. That's why I'm the teacher. I don't say I could do it all. Shoulders back, triple chin. Belly into spine, then you'll really feel that front of your thigh. Beautiful. So we did a lot of the sitting and standing motion. If you feel pain, uh, I hope you don't feel pain. If you feel a little muscle soreness tomorrow, congratulate yourself because you did a good workout today. But Let's now open up our legs and then go to the other side. If, you did, if you're not on the front, then go and sneak to the other side of your chair. I don't know why I did something so fancily weird. Okay, again, hips are forward, belly into spine. We're trying to get our knee in line with our hip, our hip in line with our shoulder, our ears over our shoulders. Shoulders away from our ears and down our backs. And let's just hold it. Be grateful that we're holding it. Be grateful we're done with that workout. I am very proud of us. I don't know what time you do your workouts, but Today, I, I went to work, came home, got distracted. My son was cooking some good meals. And of course, I didn't want to say no to food, plus the fact that he was feeding me. You know what that means. And so I told him at one point, I'm just gonna have a video of me getting sick. I need to stop and then I'll get to it. Good, yeah, let's come on back up. Let's bring our arm, just pick one arm, and allow it to come across your body. Using the other arm, lightly, uh, lightly open up that joint by adding a little bit of traction, a little tension, and just relax it. If you're one of my friends that have had a stroke, subluxation, dislocation of the joint, this is not for you. So you work on your posture instead. This helps open up, I was telling you yesterday, day before, the shoulder girdle, the whole area, doesn't have much room between the arm bone 
and the, your shoulder blade bone. It's just tiny, so if you traction it a little, it helps get the blood supply to the tendons and the arteries and nerves that go through there. Sitting up tall, let's swap arms. Nice and gentle tension. Again, watch if you are somebody that dislocates or sublexes their shoulder. You can massage your shoulders. That's an idea. We're just gonna hold it, just, and it's very light. You don't want your shoulder to feel like you're yanking it out of its socket. Good. Now reach toward me and then run your arms along your pretend table in straight back. Allow your chest to open, belly into spine to support your back. Take the time now to look up. Nice and gentle and calming breaths. Don't crank your head, right? And come forward again. Last time back. And come back upright. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Breathe, 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 breathe. And exhale, allow your bodies to sway side to side. Shoulders away from ears, belly into spine. Elevator parts lifted, nag, 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 I know. Inhale, raise your arms again. Bring the palms of your hands together. Exhale, lower them down to chest, up to heart center. Push the weight of your palms into each other and then the backs of your thumbs into your chest bone. Sit up nice and tall, belly to spine, elevator parts. Pull your shoulders up and then away from your ears, down your back. Do take the moment to congratulate yourselves. Many, many people say, oh, I'm going to get around to it, but they don't. Congratulations for doing something for yourself. Thank you as well. Because I know that you are supporting yourselves, taking care of yourselves doing this, you are also taking care of me by getting me to exercise and not procrastinate for the day. I really, really appreciate you. From my open heart to yours, namaste.